hello friends welcome again so uh, in this video i will uh, i will talk about how we can uh, add a custom uh, settings to the customizer okay so in the first video we have seen that uh, how we can uh, we can use a customizer for making a changes uh, while doing having a live preview and how we can make a changes uh, or saved as a draft or like published uh, publish the changes or the schedule the changes and how it looks like into the database and few other things we have seen like what things we can do uh, using the customizer like we can customize our site with diff uh, different things like menu sidebar widgets if there are any custom options are they like background color or menu or everything right so now in this video we will see how we can add a custom uh, settings and everything okay so for before that we have to uh, understand about the customizer objects so if you go to this handbook page customizer objects the customizer api is like object oriented and there are more there are main four uh, objects of the customizer the panels the sections the settings and the controls okay so um, so settings associate with the elements like a controls okay so we have to whatever the settings we are registering which saved into the database okay so that settings then settings relate to the controls okay because uh, we have to we have to render the control right for particular setting so if for example that site title site title will have um the input box right so that input box input type box input text is the control and the site title which will be have a setting and, and then setting relate to that control okay so that control what that control will uh, use to uh, like for the uh, for allowing the user to input the values and that control will associate it with that site title setting something like that okay and that's saved into the database and then sections sections provide a container like uh, the use a uh, container for the controls okay and then section and then panels are the container for the section so like having a multiple section so you can group them okay so at the uh so if you see into from top to bottom then panels then sections then controls and their settings okay so if, uh, you can see into this uh, we, uh this uh, image right so in the left hand side we have seen like in the first video in the left hand side we have all the customizer settings right and then on the right hand side we have the parse or the preview panel okay where we can see our content live review okay and uh, every uh, all the objects represented by the php class and uh, we can also uh, add uh, we can add remove or modify the customizer object like basically we, uh, we if you want to remove the default customizer settings that we can also do okay so for that we have to use the customize register hook so this action customize register action will uh, execute once the, all the customizer api have been loaded and is initialized okay and then we can register a callback function to this customize register and the, and this action will pass this wp customize object so you can keep any name but it will it will it will pass a wp custom uh, customize uh, manager object class object okay and that object we will use uh, to add a panel section settings and everything so if you see here in this example you can see the customize register action my customized register uh, callback function has been uh, registered to this action it passed the uh, uh, customizer object okay and that object we can use for panel to get the panel to remove the panel all these crude operation sections um, add get remove the section add settings get settings remove settings and the controls as well okay so and this way we can uh, we can add it and uh, you, if you go down further into this uh, handbook page you will learn about how we can add the settings and controls and everything okay so let me now let me give you this all things overview uh, by that uh, example i have added in in our child theme okay so if i go here let me just delete this one okay so if i go here in the 2021 child team i have created the classes folder so basically like i have just tried to replicate the same uh, folder structure uh, as our parent team okay so in the classes folder i have added a class called uh, customizer settings uh, this 2021 child customize okay that class and i have included that file here at the top okay so including the template tags and the class customize so i will i will let you know how why i have uh, added the template tags as well okay 
so what i want to do uh, is that i want to add a settings where, where i can uh, control the display of the some information so for example if i go here into go to the block page so you can see here feature post the date and everything it's display okay i have made some changes earlier so in the first video so let me just go here um go to the block page okay and then you can see the post detail and the display the thing, thing, thing. okay now good okay so now if i uh if i go here refresh the page okay so currently by default the 2021 theme showing uh the published date the, the categories and the tag assigned to it okay if it's available for that post okay but now let's say as an example for the demo purpose i want to control that through the customizer settings i i would like to as a user i would like to ha have a settings which uh provides me to control the uh, display of this uh, three uh, informations so if i select the checkbox if i do not want to display the date then i would simply hide if i selected that okay i want to display then it will display okay so similarly and uh, wordpress uh, our parent team 2021 team already include this one so into the code base uh, go to the 2021 thing go to the inc uh, not a temp uh, so in the template parts if you go to the content for example uh, you can see uh, this um, uh, this uh, 2021 entry meta footer and this function uh, is display uh, all this information okay including the feature post or the edit link or the this categories links or everything okay but then i have seen that it uh, provides the um because of this if function has uh, exist check uh 2021 team allows the child team to override this uh function okay because i cannot make because if i want to keep using this function and if i want to make conditional i have to add a conditions right if the settings has been set into the customizer then and then only i want to display the published date or like the date of uh, date when the post has been published or the assigned categories and assigned tags right so and since it uh, provides me to override this function so i have in the child theme i have created the same um, inc folder and then i have added a template text where i have just simply added this function 2021 entry meta footer so if this function defined into the child theme then the parent theme uh, functions won't be added because this function exists check will return through okay so th uh, this way i can override the parent theme function if it's allowed okay and then in the parent theme uh, i will i will come to that later okay so now that's the main use case right for now and another use case was um, into the footer if you go to the parent theme uh, to the footer.php file you can see this the powered by uh, this div tag and you can see the proudly powered by wordpress so this is the static uh, text currently right and i want to make it uh, allow an option to customize it along with proudly powered by wordpress uh, text i want user to add some additional text like a copyright icon along with the or anything right um so that we have seen in the first video okay so what i have did for that i have override that footer template here and i have made some changes here for make it dynamic so i will come later like after some time how i made it uh, like dynamic okay so uh, so this is the two use cases where i have registered a customizer settings for that into the uh, in our site okay so if i go here you can see uh, this uh, content options here post details which are applied to our post detail on the block page and then the footer uh copyright text for uh for in the footer copyright text okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress